taste. Don't grab people. See, it is, uh, yeah, by the time I upload this, it'll be, um, well, actually, it is technically Monday where I'm at because it's sometime past, uh, one third where I'm at. And yeah, I had to say a little bit at work because, yeah, Sundays are usually busy with all the stuff we had to do. And, uh, yeah, I was definitely very tired when I first got home, so I wanted to, you know, let's express a little bit for, um, you know, do this reaction one. So, yeah, it's Monday again. And yeah, right to the latest Reference Food Season 15 episode, particularly episode 9, Rigged. And yeah, the last, last episode, the real Reds and Blues fed up with the fake Reds and Blues here. And we got at least idea, like, what's up and whatnot. And yeah, the UNC is after them. So, yeah, let's we'll, we'll see how, like, how they, you know, uh, interact more in this episode and see, like, what their specific plans are, uh, or at least for the next step here. So, yeah. So, not too, not too much else to say, but without further ado, let's get started. But uh, first. <clears throat> And of course, yeah, uh, there might be like, uh, I, I noticed my R reaction, previous reaction, that there's been kind of echo on it, but uh, compared to my last place, there's definitely a lot more open space and whatnot. So, yeah, that's all, that's all there. Alright, just want to double check. Yeah, I was going. Alright. <clears throat> so, let's react to Red Force Boo, Season 15, Episode 9 here. 3, 2, 1, play. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, of course, yeah, Charlie Ford just came out. Yeah. Okay, Ready? Sarge. Serial number. That's all you're getting from me. All right, Sarge. Well, that's a good place to start. Yeah. I have no idea what your actual name is. Well, Every record I ever found. Yeah, like Max is one their own. Who's always gonna say it, but. Ploy clears glass. There is no ploy. I just don't know your name. Well, <laughs> you think you'll just butter me up when I least expect it? Whambo! You pry open my mind prison and suck out my brain beans. Uh, well, yeah, sure they do that. I'm old hat. The interrogation game. Pay attention, Missy. You might just learn a thing or two. Well, if we're not going to talk, we can just cut. Uh, okay, yeah, might, might, might as well. To keep an eye on you. Oops. See, Templin, sir. Oh, I still have the voice. They sent me to find out what you know, so while you think you're interrogating me, I'll secretly be interrogating you to find out what you know about them. Uh, <laughs> well, that's quite the plan oh, there. No. What? <laughs> I, uh, I realize now that I'm just... Oh, he yeah, kind of did that to the enemy there for. Oh, damn, you're good. <laughs> Please, if you could just tell me your name. I underestimated you. The student there, there. has become the teacher. Touche. Just Whoa. cut, Jack. Yes. Yeah, no Parker, weird point target, like Sergeant. Coming in. No problem. What's shaking? Uh, this feels a little awkward, but I I wanted to express my gratitude and admiration for you and your amazing performance back at the Gulch. Hmm. Timbo, we just met, so I should let you know that flattery isn't going to get you anywhere. Oh. You can't butter me up. But do go on. Oh. <laughs> that was the coolest thing I've ever seen, man. Mm. You fight like a freelancer. It was like I uh, yeah, witnessed yeah, sure. a bright star of hope shone through the clouds amidst a dark and terrible whirlpool. Hmm, I don't think I've been called a star before, but mm. if the shoe fits, oh, this yeah, fight yeah. has felt so hopeless for us. What we're going up against. Oh yeah, I the UNC. Mean, a bunch of dumb rejects hurling ourselves against oh, impossible yeah, odds. Yeah. You give us, you gave me, a real sense of hope. Well, that's nice. Well, it's not the first time I've helped a bunch of hopeless people in need. Oh yeah, of Just course. Doing what I do best. Well, second best if you know what I mean. Oh, that's oh, <laughs> You know I do. <laughs> Sex, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Uh, the other thing I, I wanted to bring up is perhaps a bit more sensitive. Um, What's that? It's about that reporter. Oh you know, yeah, her. There's nothing between us. What do you really know about her? Mm, not much. She kind of helped out a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I just worry about her agenda. Mm. I mean, those journalist types, oh, yeah. they don't give a shit about real people. They well, just this, care about well, selling well, their kind of cares. getting their book deals and leaving us plebs to our fate. I mean, we're kind of like lab rats to them. Mm. That seems kind of extreme. Yeah, it's I guess. Kind of I don't know. Maybe you're right. She did warn you about that bounty hunter though right oh yeah she huh she well, knew about him didn't she oh yeah she said so at your gulch <laughs> i'm only saying something because i like the little desk out there enough times in my life already yeah i know that song man she probably led that asshole straight to me whoa dick move oh yeah jeez wait we're every how are they cut hey tucker okay. hey tucker wait well got there <laughs> question the matrix shit is gonna give me a migraine yeah seriously <laughs> Oh, they've got a Bizarro Doc too. Oh, huh? Jesus. What's your ripoff name? Yeah. Brock? Schmock? <laughs> oh, hey, Tucker. It's me, Doc. What? Oh, it's actually oh, Doc? Whoa. Damn. Doc, Doc? What the hell are you doing 
here. Yeah. Just hanging out with the Blues and Reds. Oh. These guys are my homies. Oh, okay. What's up? You know them? Yeah. I was just telling Simmons and Donut, your reporter friend, that I've known these guys for years. Jesus. Do you find it weird that they're like, I don't know, bootleg versions of us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, no, it's actually vice versa. What? Like, they're the originals, and you're the crappy copy. What? what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're the real McCoys, and you are the non-McCoy. Oh. Fake. Uh, they are like iPods, and you are like Zooms. <laughs> we were first. No way, man. What? Their gulch was like way before yours. Oh, jeez. That's where they're the Fruit Loops, and you are just the generic brand Sugar Ring. Oh. <laughs> they're a Gucci bag, and we're oh. a Gucci bag you buy from a street vendor with vastly inferior stitching. Donut, oh, okay, don't donut. help him. Oh. Why do you have a purse? They're what? all like Spider-Man, and you guys are like Turkish spider <laughs> <laughs> You're the Ding Dongs, and you are a dildo. Sure, a lot of comparisons here. Who's David Lee Roth and who's Sammy Hagar? Oh. It's still fucking weird that they're two of everyone, hmm. and I'm still hot for teacher. Oh. I've been able to corroborate certain aspects of their story. In my investigation on Sidewinder, I found records of another gulch of reds and blues. This gulch was tagged as a prototype, but I don't know what for. You found hmm. that on Sidewinder, huh? That's where you met up with that bounty hunter. Well, yeah, we crossed paths. Did your path have a sign that said, follow me to Lavernia's Tucker? Whoa, take it easy. I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, fucking right. Mm. I bet that made great TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn right it did. Oh, oh God, I just wish I had a jib for that big no! Maybe we could schedule some reshoots? Oh. Jax, nice. Super awesome of you guys. That was sarcastic. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here, Simmons. I'm not Simmons, I'm Gene. Whoa. He's Simmons. Are you sure? Tucker, come on, man. You've known me for years. Uh, yeah, I just came over to say the blue It's so God's voice in both of them. You all should make yourselves at home while we're gone. What errand? Our cloaking device is failing. We need to pick up some parts from an unmanned mining rig. Oh, jeez. Let me guess. You need the help of your shining star of hope. Oh, that'd be excellent. Sarge is already one of us, <laughs> after all. I mean, he's joined us. I mean, he's coming along. Well, count the rest of us in, too. Well, I think it's a great idea. I can... Not you. Us. Let's go, Simmons. Uh, keep the mics um, out care. there. <laughs> Just help me with my dramatic exit. Oh. But, mm. yeah, kind of, yeah, kind of sounds like Dylan Jack. Quick, we need some electronics to fix our cloaking device. Mm. This rig is fully automated, so we don't expect to encounter any forms of enemy resistance. Hopefully. Hey, what's with your visors? Ah, mm. uh, oh. I've ordered my men to switch to blue to avoid confusion. Oh, okay. The Caboose and Loco were having some trouble with that. What? Yeah, they weren't the only ones. <laughs> yep, I've just dated you so much. <laughs> Wrong side, Caboose. I think he's talking to you. <laughs> Why are you all blue? Oh, God damn it, Caboose. <laughs> To business. Gene has uploaded Loco's requests into your HUD. Mm. Now let's break up and see what we can scrounge around. All right, so hopefully this I'll could go also well. be a chance for us to get to know each other. Hopefully. I suggest we break into groups of two to maximize efficiency. I suggest we start a counterclockwise search pattern from the top of the base down. That's a great idea. I was just about to suggest it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Hey, Tucker, you want to partner up? Whatever. Great, mm. let's go. All right. I don't see those two together very often. Interesting. I always say a marine without a code is like a car without a road. Oh, Best. Okay. I always say the best defense is a really tall fence. What? Don't say. I always say a good soldier is like a rolling boulder. <laughs> well, I'll be. I always say a mantra a day keeps death at bay. Jesus. I always say the only good griff is a dead griff. <laughs> What's a griff? Oh. oh, yeah. You don't have an orange one, do you? Oh. Consider yourself oh, lucky. Yeah. You're better off without any annoying orange in your life. Yeah, <laughs> sure. So. How do you feel about strawberry yoo <laughs> Really? But you guys are like twins. We are not. I'm nothing like that Gene guy. Yeah, sure. So much of a busy body, nerdy, goody two-shoes. Oh. Yeah, man, you just described yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't you shut up. <laughs> well, how would you describe yourself, Simmons? <laughs> not like him. Ugh. His voice is so annoying. What? Scientific speaking, I think we should split into pairs and maximize efficiency. I don't sound anything like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can't even imagine what those idiots are talking about. Oh, you... How do I possibly choose? Both are big and thick and fill me to my navel. Uh, what are you talking about? Probably Dostoevsky. I find resonance in its perspective that a person is never simply the product of external forces. We can debate Whoa. causality until we're both stiff in the earth, but it won't change the fact that Tolstoy was the more endowed. Whoa. An endowed vision of the bourgeois. Okay, so it's a, dude, some serious talk, but yeah, that just came off. And frankly, overrated. You are shafting my man, Donut. Uh. However, I must say I do appreciate the discourse. I've grown soft around these uncultured Philistines. 
We must use our mouths until the things that are hard turn to putty in our hands. <sighs> okay, Donna. Amigo Sola, you are well read. Well, oh, yeah, I sure. certainly didn't just blow my wad on the Russians. Ugh. Well, oh, Jesus. Whoa. Well, they fell like crap. Oh, great. Is that everything you need? Oh, yeah. Got all sorts of awesome stuff in here. I can fix a vortex capacitor and have a cool. casting shifter coils to the ionized core. Here's the that make him work on this shit. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, Simmons? I understand Lopez better than I understood that. Damn. Loco's got a bit of a knack. If he says he's got it, he's got it. Well, that's good. Yeah, a scientist, huh? Well, technically, he'd be a mad engineer. Unless he goes around testing hypotheses all day long. Hmm. God damn. I can't believe I have to hear this shit in stereo now. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, it's great that you're all safe, but maybe we should try to get a word of warning to your freelancers as well. Oh, yeah. Where are they? Knowing them, they're probably in the middle of some spectacular... Yeah, like, are we going to cut to them here? Kicking and punching and flying through the air. Awesome music uh, playing. Oh. Man, I can just picture it now. Uh, well, oh. this isn't completely horrible. Okay, so they're on no, the beach together. <laughs> Oh, okay, so that, that's where they are. <laughs> all right. All right, so that, we'll probably see more of that in the next episode. All right, so that's Red Fruit, Red vs. Food Season 15, Episode 9. And yeah, overall, that was a pretty nice episode. And yeah, we got to see some a nice little uh, interaction between uh, both teams. Yeah, it's very nice. So yeah, I kind of like in this episode, we kind of found like a, these, like these new Reds and Blues were like the like prototypes of one that were like, you know, made before, you know, like our Reds and Blues and one. So that's pretty interesting. Um, of course, yeah, like the little interview we got with Starship, of course, he wasn't really willing to t say anything, he said like really stupid nonsense, and yeah, that's kind of uh, smart Dylan to just, just cut it and not probably to use any of that footage and whatnot. And of course, yeah, like, you know, Will Tucker's like not very happy for Dylan basically leading that um, Bionheart dude, uh, dude to him, and yeah, give him all the old yeah, uh, child, uh, child payments and all that stuff, but I wouldn't be too happy either, so yeah, that pretty makes sense for all. Um, yeah, Tucker did not have uh, Dylan and Jax uh, uh, come with them on their little uh, trip to find some more parts for their um, cloaking machine and whatnot. And yeah, uh, that was pretty smart, smart of uh, Temple there to have like their their guys change their fighters. So, so they, uh, especially for us, the audience, to not confuse them for like, uh, especially for uh, Simmons and um, uh, Gene there. It, it definitely doesn't help that uh, Gus uses uh, like his uh, same force for Simmons for Gene there. So that doesn't help. At least for like. You know, like for the uh the, uh, the other RPBs um like stars like at least they got him a different voice once and then um as a, so that's at least a nice one but that's really help for uh, uh Simmons and Gene there and um I think like you know their their uh, caboose uh, local it's actually kind of like what um Tucker described as like a mad engineer one that so um that's pretty interesting especially still having the like same similar voice as the uh, caboose I like you know a local started talking about like. Oh, like a bunch of techie stuff, but like, Kabu's like, uh, what? So, uh, that was pretty interesting. Um, and yeah, I did, I also liked that little, um, uh, pep, pep talk that, uh, uh, Temple and, uh, Tucker had near the beginning. And yeah, like how, uh, te how much Temple appreciated, uh, the, uh, original <laughs> reference boot, uh, guys, uh, on that. So that was, that was a nice little thing to see there. And, uh, I like, um, uh, at the end of the episode, like, um, I think, I think it was uh, a temple that asked, uh, yeah, like a uh, message to Tucker to um, probably, you know, tell the um, uh, Caroline and Wash where they're at. And, like, you know, Tucker uh, kind of explained, like, what well, usually goes on when we see, like, the freelancers, like, a bunch of action and cool music playing. But, of course, uh, at the end of the episode, we just saw them, like, watching the sunset at a beach together. So, yeah, more like in the next episode, we'll find out like, more about, like, why they're sitting on the beach there and all that. And, yeah, may maybe we see some of the other freelancers or something. Here are, the, here are some ones that we haven't met or have not seen yet. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, I know York's dead. Okay, okay, so actually for most of the other freelancers that we uh, do know of, they're uh, basically dead. So probably like, we'll probably be a new one or one out. More, at least my guess on one out, but 
Um, yeah, well, let's stay tuned for that for the next episode. But yeah, overall, this is definitely a nice episode. Yeah, like, uh, got to see interactions between, uh, yeah, the old and new, um, Reds and Blues. And I did, I was like that, but where, um, you know, the guys were kind of comparing, like, you know, the old, old, the art, art, red, red and blue guys to the new ones and saying, like, you know, old is better than the new one. I like the different comparisons it did to all that. So I did like that. And, um, yeah, it's, yeah, I guess it's a nice little, um, Oh, uh, it's a nice little, nice episode of, yeah, this guy's just interacting. Yeah, I kind of, I like the, um, any episode where it kind of leaves up where the, yeah, where the free answer guys are at and see where they're going to be doing the next episode. So, yeah, overnight this episode, and yeah, looking forward to the next episode when that comes out. So, stay tuned till then. So, overall is in this, Rex Veal, make sure Lux Veal, scratch out for more feels, and a comment down below. Such what video I strike to next. Make sure to check, check the links to my socials and your sites in the description down below. Those keep on Rex Reels and the most right polls. So, overall, Zen's Bill. Hope you guys very soon.